Hi, I'm Blake Tucker, aka Dr. Inkwell. I want you to drink more, I want you to drink well. It's Women's History Month and St. Patty's Day, which leads me to Gillian Vose, the beverage director at the Dead Rabbit. The Dead Rabbit is one of the best cocktail bars in New York City, named after an old Irish gang and focusing on Irish whiskey. Today I'm going to show you how to make Gillian's Irish Coffee Martini, a cold version of the classic cocktail. To make this drink you'll need Bushmills Black Bush Irish Whiskey or your favorite Irish whiskey, and in this case I'm going to use the Pogues. Um, you'll also need some cold brew coffee, a little two to one demerara syrup, that's just two parts demerara sugar to one part water, and then Angostura bitters, or if you have it, a little bit of Dead Rabbit or Anoko bitters. This is the house bitters from the bar. The first step, we need to chill our Nicanora glass, which we'll be serving this in. So I'm gonna add a little bit of ice to the glass and some water. The water helps distribute the cold liquid all over the glass in order to get the entire glass cold. So I'm just gonna give this a quick stir and let it sit. Next up, we need half an ounce of our two to one Demerara sugar syrup, one dash of aromatic bitters, and then one and a half ounces of cold brew coffee and one and a half ounces of Irish whiskey. Add some ice and then seal and shake. Then we'll need to pour out our cold water to empty our glass and then fine strain into our Nicanora glass. The garnish is a little bit of lemon oil expressed over the top. You just need a lemon and a channel knife or a vegetable peeler. But you do not need the lemon peel. Slancha. Mm. If you've never been to the Dead Rabbit, do make a trip there. Jillian's doing amazing stuff there. Um, La Fela Perec, Sanaguit, or Happy St. Patrick's Day. See you next week.